Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. We're back in the shed. We're back working on Harry's GQ and we're gonna fix the rust in the roof. So let's get started. So in the last episode, we cut a lot of rust out of the roof. So in this episode, what we're gonna do is try and patch that up. So I made these patch panels here and what I need to do is basically go around the edges, clean these up make sure they fit in there perfectly and then we're going to go around and just tack weld them and that means we get to fire up the brand new welder today i did get a bottle of gas over there for it yesterday so i'm stoked to actually fire this thing up for the first time and i'm keen as to pop this helmet on it looks freaking sick so this hole here is actually going to be the first one that i'm going to try and patch so what i need to do is trim this down to make it fit in there perfectly. And then what I found out last time is if I actually pull this back, I basically tack in one corner and just work my way down so it sits perfectly flush. So what I'll do is I'll get the flap disc out, I'll clean the outer edge, and then I'll start trimming this down and we'll get this pretty mint. What I've done is just put my welding magnet there. Now what I do is anywhere that feels flush, like right there feels dead flush, what I'll do is I'll, I'll tack there and then it's actually pushed back a bit here. I'm gonna to have to prise that out till that becomes dead flush. And then I tack there and then you sort of feel around using the magnet to pull, push and pull. It's quite easy, but you want all them welds to be basically as dead flat as possible. Such an idiot, I was welding near the camera on that last clip and there's slag all over my lens and my screen now, so that's great. Just stuffed me brand new camera. Obviously, there's a seam rolling through here. The rot was in this seam and I'm not recreating it, I can't be bothered. Harry doesn't give a shit either. But that's looking pretty good. Those spot welds are nice and close to each other. There's not much pitting. Welder went absolutely awesome, that thing is a beast. All right guys, actually quite a fair bit later, we had some people over so we had to stop. Obviously patch this one up, we've patched this other one up as well. Now there is a couple of divots on that one, it was very hard to get this nice and flat, but it is actually flat, so our bog will actually fill these little divots. So I've managed to do all the patch panels so they just perfectly fit in because before they were a little bit rough. So they all perfectly fit in, I've even curved it over the way it needs to go. So I've been doing that, Harry's actually managed to pull off the door card on this side and he's about to do the door card on that side. Have you done this one as well? Yep, yep done that one as well. Um, getting rid of all these rubbers and stuff so we can basically get the paint right up and under that, that seal. So we're gonna get rid of all this. And yeah, it's coming out pretty good. Pretty happy with the progress so far. These panels, you do have to move quite slow doing them, but that's just part of it. I also found a little bit more rust under here that needs addressing. So I wanna hear some mini Revy boys. It can actually sound sick. Rev it. Come on. Oi, that's sick, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the wall, bruh? So what I like to do with these corner ones is I like to get a spot with the magnet. So I just hold it and just get a part of it that's actually flush so you run your fingers along there's no line. I tack that and then I just move along. I found another bit that was flush, so I've tacked three spots that were flush. And you can see here, there's actually a lip on here. So you don't really worry about that too much because you just work that down. And now that's flush in that corner. So you tack it. And you move down the line. This is just to help you keep the profile. So that's dead flat now. We'll just keep working it along. And if you find, like see down here, it's not gonna actually hit in because it's too long. All you do is you get your, your angle grinder and you just run your angle grinder blade just a fraction down it. You just gotta be nice and neat and then you should be able to tap it in. today we're out here making things happen making rust disappear houdini on the rust poof gone take that bitch all right harry has actually never welded so 
I'm going to let him have a little couple of spot welds up here. Hopefully, you can keep him nice and close, and not ruin your panel. On that spot. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Grinded that one down, made a little plate for this little hole that I drilled, and that corner is now looking new. Alright boys, the last patch has been done. Um, this was a three-stage one just because that's the way I've done it. Sorry, that's happening. And I'm also just going to quickly tack up these old snorkel holes so we can redo them. But lots more grinding to do on these two. It's dark outside now, so I've got to keep the noise down a little bit, but I want to at least get them flat. Quickly weld these up, get them flat as well. Then we're done with the roof, thank God. guys all done she is now rust free in the roof department and holeless as well the whole ass patrol this patrol is no longer religious because it's not holy <laughs> That's a good one. so what we're going to do before we close up this video is just run a bead of sikaflex just on the bottom welds it's basically only a couple of them i even want to hit so We'll quickly do that because um, I'll just feel better doing it. It needs 24 hours to dry. Things turning out to be a unit and a half. You've got to be happy with the results, are you, mate? Yeah, mate, she's getting there. See, if you're not a good welder, you can just fill it with cigar. That's the go, mate. All right, bloody hell, what a massive day. Probably went quick for you guys, but it's been long as for me and Harry and Jessica. And we are finally done, so Sikaflex pro up in the gaps just on all the welds didn't do the whole seam because we didn't really need to that's just going to help any little crevices that are pitted or anything like that it's just going to seal them off but all in all i think we've done pretty good for a weekend's work we've obviously cut out all the rust plated it it's ready for um, bog primer and then paint and then we're going to sand the whole car down wrap to spray it it's going to be a really new color that nobody's ever seen before <laughs> So get, get keen for that. So Harry's made these plates here as well. So they also need welding on. They'll basically plate off the bottom of them, which is great because that need, definitely needs doing. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll weld, basically stitch weld, and then we'll seam seal from the inside with the same Sikaflex. And um, that'll make that water tight. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. So we'll catch you on the next episode where we're hopefully sanding down, getting ready for paint and um, Obviously my car was a single cab when I painted it. This is a wagon, which is much more masking up and all that sort of stuff. I need to sort out one of the fenders and um, make it sick. Make one of the fenders non-holly. Or well, actually I've got to add holly. Wait, it's weird because I'm, I'm literally making a plate to weld on the fender to then cut a hole for the snorkel. Just cause you cut a really bad hole. All right, so thanks for watching once again, and we'll catch you on the next episode where this bush pig turns into a um, street pig. <laughs> Wrong life. <laughs> 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 Wrong life. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>